the expansion of a function using Maclaurin series. Now, this is not very important as far as JE main is concerned. Usually, you don't need them. But since sometimes it may be in advance or some problem, you can keep this as a backup. If the, if the derivative method is becoming too difficult or some particular place you may be able to apply. Anyway, let me explain to you. In fact, it's out of syllabus for you. But still, you may be able to apply in some places. Okay. What is Maclaurin series? Actually, Taylor series and Maclaurin series combined together to form a series by which we can expand a function. So, a function f of x equal to f of 0 plus x upon 1 factorial into f dash of 0 plus x square upon 2 factorial into f double dash of 0 plus x cube upon 3 factorial into f triple dash 0 and goes on like that. You can continue as much as you can. This is a outcome of a Maclaurin, special case of a Maclaurin series and the Taylor series. Anyhow, we need this much only. Suppose I want to expand f of x equal to e raised to x. Imagine I want to find out the e raised to x expansion. You can express this as a polynomial of infinite series. You call it the most infinite series. You know that f of 0, f of 0 is e raised to 0, so 1 f dash of x is the derivative of e raised to x, that is e raised to x only. So f dash of 0 is e raised to 0, again 1. So how much more times derivative will do? All of them will give you 1 as answer. So f of x, e raised to x, equal to f of 0, f of 0 is 1, plus x upon 1 factor, f dash of 0, 1. x square upon 2 factorial, f dash of, f double dash of 0, that is also 1 only. So you, this will be the expansion of this will be the expansion of e raised to x. So if I want to calculate e raised to 1's value, e raised to 1's value will be approximately 1 plus 1 plus 1 upon 2 factorial plus 1 upon 3 factorial, goes on like that. If you add, now let's say next one, f of x equal to log of 1 plus x. So what will be the first derivative? Uh, f of 0 will be log 1, log 1 is 0. f dash of x will be 1 over 1 plus x and uh, f dash of 0 will be 1, f second derivative of x will be minus 1 upon 1 plus x the whole square, that is f second derivative will be minus 1, f third derivative will be minus 2 upon 1 plus x the whole cube, or I can say 2 factorial here, 1 into 2, and this become plus, so second derivative will be, in fact I will write it as 2 factorial, um, f triple the fourth derivative will be minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 will come, 1 plus x raised to 4, you have done nth derivative, there we have applied. So you will get the third derivative to be, second, third, fourth derivative of 0 will be 3 factorial with a negative sign upon 1, that is 3 factorial. In fact, you will notice that the second derivative is minus, third derivative 2 factorial, minus 3 factor, then it should be minus 4 factor, etc. Now let's substitute. So log of 1 plus x can be written as f of 0. f of 0 is 0. So you don't need to write x upon 1 factorial into 1 plus x square upon 2 factorial into the second derivative is minus 1 plus x cube upon 3 factorial. Uh, now you have the third derivative that is 2 factorial. Now, x raised to 4 upon 4 factorial, that will give you minus 3 factorial and goes on like that. In fact, this is 1 factorial. So, if you continue this way, if you notice, you can see, this will give you x. 1 factorial is minus x squared by 2. 2 factorial, 3 factorial will get cancelled, x cubed by 3. This will become minus x raised to 4 upon 4. Next will be naturally x raised to 5 upon 5. Next will be minus x raised to 6 upon 6 goes on like this and that gives you log of 1 plus x expansion. x minus no factorial in log expansion. x minus x square upon 2 plus x cube upon 3 minus alternative positive negative. If it is log of 1 minus x, then all of all the x will look a negative because this will come minus x, this minus x the whole cube, minus x raised to 5, all will become negative terms that will be log 1 minus x expansion. See sin x and cos x. So I am going to do now fast, instead of writing so many steps, I will just derive first of all f of 0. So I am talking about f of x is sin x. f of 0, sin 0, 0. x upon 1 factorial, derivative of sin x. 
derivative of sin x is cos x and cos 0 is 1 plus x square upon 2 factorial second derivative of cos x will be minus sin x sin 0 will be 0 so this will go away x cube upon 3 factorial now third derivative will be minus cos x and that will be minus 1 so you can see x upon 1 factorial alternate terms will be going away and remaining alternate terms will be positive negative so my answer will be x upon 1 factorial x cube upon 3 factorial with a negative sign odd number with a negative sign x cube x raised to 5 x then x cube then x raised to 5 with a positive positive alternate positive negative minus x raised to 7 upon 7 factorial and goes on like this this will be the expansion of sin x now if we can also find the expansion of cos x so let's have a look at cos x expansion so f of x is cos x its derivative minus sin x its derivative minus cos x its derivative plus sin x let's see what happens in this case so cos x will be f of 0 cos 0 1 then f dash of 0 minus sin 0 0 so x upon 1 factorial into 0 plus x square upon 2 factorial now second derivative minus cos 0 so minus 1 third derivative will be giving you 0 and goes on like that so you can notice here 1 plus 1 minus x square upon 2 factorial x raised to next will be if you take the fourth derivative you will get cos x so that will be a positive number cos 0 is 1 so you will get x raised to 4 upon 4 factorial 4 factorial into cos 0 1 next will be x raised to 6 with negative so 6 factorial next will be positive x raised to 8 upon 8 factorial and goes on like that so you can see alternate positive negative here also sign also you can see alternate positive negative sign starts with x upon 1 factorial cos starts with a 1 with x square minus 2 factorial so you can use this expansion if required so these are the two important ones which you may be able may be required these are the expansion formulae that we have e raised to x formula log 1 plus x formula log 1 minus x formula these formula you can uh, remember it either by direct derivative method which i taught to you maclaurin series directly you can use and learn it you also have the binomial theorem and the 1 plus x raised to n's expansion so suppose i want to use this and evaluate the limit i'm going to give you one example for that limit x tending to 0 1 plus x plus x square minus e raised to x upon x square i would prefer to do this by derivative method but just to show you how to apply this method i will just give you this example limit x tending to 0 1 plus, plus x square minus write the expansion of e raised to x what is the expansion of e raised to x 1 plus x upon 1 factorial x square upon 2 factorial x cube upon 3 factorial and goes on like that divided by x square now one will get cancelled x will get cancelled now x square minus x square 2 factorial that will be written as i can write that as uh, 1 minus 1 by 2 into x square minus x cube by 3 factorial and goes on like that divided by x square so what you'll notice is that this 1 minus half will be there and remaining all terms will have x common when you apply the limit this part will become 0 and your answer becomes 1 by 2 1 minus half gives you 1 by 2 this is how you have to do because other terms of x x cube x raised to 4 etc will always have an x common when you separate this both this x square will get cancelled remaining all of them have one x common and all of them will be terms with x terms having x so when x tends to 0 the whole terms will become 0 and hence you will not have any number here this will give you 0 as answer and your answer will become 1 minus half which is half this is quite a tricky problem first we need to find the expansion of 1 plus x raised to 1 by x so what i'll do is i will write this 1 plus x 1 by s e raised to log 1 plus x raised to 1 by x which is e raised to 1 by x log 1 plus x now i know the expansion of log 1 plus x that is e raised to 1 by x into log 1 plus x log 0 log 0 is 0 log uh, you have to remember this 
एफ ऑफ एक्स इक्वल टू एफ ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू एफ ऑफ जीरो प्लस एक्स अपॉन वन फैक्टोरियल एफ डैश ऑफ जीरो प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर अपॉन टू फैक्टोरियल एफ डबल डैश ऑफ जीरो गोज ऑन लाइक दैट सो वेन ए पुट एफ ऑफ एक्स इज लॉन्ग वन प्लस एक्स आई एम जस्ट मेकिंग यू रिमेम्बर लॉन्ग वन इज जीरो यू विल गेट एक्स अपॉन वन एंड एफ ऑफ एफ डैश ऑफ जीरो वन अपॉन वन प्लस एक्स एक्स इज जीरो सो वन नेक्स्ट यू विल गेट विद ए नेगेटिव साइन एक्स स्क्वायर अपॉन टू नेक्स्ट विल बी पॉजिटिव टर्म एक्स क्यूब माइनस अपॉन थ्री एंड गोज ऑन लाइक दैट सो विच आई कैन राइट एज ई रेस टू वेन आई ओपन द ब्रैकेट वन माइनस एक्स बाय टू प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर बाय थ्री एंड गोज ऑन लाइक दैट विच आई कैन राइट एज यू नो दैट ए रेस टू एम प्लस एन इज ए रेस टू एम इन टू ए रेस टू एन so i can write this as e into e raised to minus x by 2 plus x square by 3 and goes on like that this way i can write it so i am going to replace this over here then i can solve this particular limit so this particular calculation of calculating log of 1 plus x raised to 1 by x need to be understood so i can write so finally 1 plus x raised to 1 by x can be written in this manner so i will write this limit as limit x tending to 0 e into e raised to minus x by 2 plus x square by 3 plus dot 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 minus e upon x now i will recap limit x tending to 0 a raised to x minus 1 upon x is log a so i need a minus 1 so if i take e common it will be limit x tending to 0 e raised to minus x by 2 plus x square by 3 goes on like that minus 1 divided by now if the power is x the denominator also should be x so what i will do is i will divide and multiply with minus x by 2 plus x square by 3 goes on like that and that term will be multiplied again here minus x by 2 plus x square by 3 plus dot dot divided by x this x is the original x which is present So what I've done is I divided and multiplied by this quantity, so that this function changes to this formula. So this became e into became e into log e. Log e is suppose it is e here, then your answer would be log e, and it would become one. So one into now you can see an x common. So I'm taking x common minus one by two plus x upon three goes on like that. Divided by x, this x and this x will get cancelled. And when I apply the limit here, limit x tending to zero over here, it becomes this, and all these terms become zero. You will have only minus half left, and limit is e minus e by two becomes your final answer. So once again, first find the expansion of one plus x raised to one by x. How do you do that? Any function can be written as e raised to log of the function. So I've used that one plus x to one by raise x can be written e raised to log of it. Then I log one plus expansion. I wrote one x term gets cancelled. I get this way. Now I applied a raised to m minus n or a raised to m plus n. E raised to one into e raised to remaining. So then I replace that in place of this function. E became common. When e became common, I got a formula there. A is to x minus one. A is to x minus one. But I need the same term here, which I did not have. So divided and multiplied. So this became log e, which became one. Removed it off. Then we have only x. You can see everywhere x is common. Took an x common and cancelled with the denominator. Now remaining all terms are with x. They will become zero. So only a minus half will be left. Plus the c will be there. Hence your answer is minus e by two. Complicated question. This is not one's question. The complicated question here. We will expand, express the whole thing as a polynomial, whole numerator as a polynomial. First, we'll expand one plus x raised to one by x, like how I did the previous problem. It is e raised to one by x log one plus x. So that became e raised to one by x in the log one plus x uh, will be x upon one minus x square upon two uh, plus x cube by three and goes on like that. So, which I can write this as when you open this x, one one x will get cancelled. E raised to one minus x squared by x by two and x squared by three and remaining x higher powers of x. 
Now this I can write as e raised to 1 into e raised to minus x by 2 plus x square by 3 and goes on higher powers of x. Now here again it is like e raised to t. e raised to t can be expanded as 1 plus t upon 1 factorial t square upon 2 factorial and goes on. Okay, next will be t cube by 3 factorial and goes on. Now you have seen that the highest power here is x square. So if I have polynomial of x cube onwards, they will become 0 because x cube divided by x square will give you 1x and that x will tend to 0. So I need to take only x power up to 2, that means up to x square. After that, I don't have to bother. So that became e into 1 plus. What does t stands for? t stands for this power. So where t is, t stands for minus x by 2 plus x square by 3 and other terms are not interested. So minus x by 2 plus x square by 3 upon 1 factorial minus x by 2 plus x square by 3 whole square upon 2 factorial and remaining terms I am not writing because they are all powers of x more than 3 which became e raised to 1 plus minus x by 2 minus x by 2 upon 2. So x will have 2 terms so minus half will be there and this will give you minus 1 by 4 uh, but being a square okay I will try it minus x by 2 plus x square by 3 now when you square this a plus b the whole square or a plus b plus c the whole square this becomes square so x square by 4 and this 2 factorial so it will become x square by 8 and all other terms will be higher degrees x cube onwards so e into 1 minus x by 2 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 8 into x square plus all terms with x cube and higher powers. Now I can substitute this here and then calculate. So this is the expansion of this much. So when you replace there, it will become limit. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll expand this as e minus ex by 2 e minus ex by 2 plus this is 1 by 8 11 by 11 by 8 is 24 x square into e e will be there plus all others powers of x divided by x square so you can uh, now minus e and ex by 2 so this first two terms will get cancelled then all other terms as x here so x square and x square will get cancelled so 11 by 24 e becomes your final answer 11 by 24 e will be the answer when we expand this you will get a, a constant term x term x square term x cube term etc that means i'll be having some a plus bx plus cx square plus dx cube etc. If I want to get a finite limit, these terms should get cancelled and what I left c should be my answer, remaining x terms all will become zero. So this a constant term and x term should get cancelled between them and only x square term is going to be, coefficient of x square term is going to be my answer and remaining going to be zero. So my, my aim is, I need to only look at this many. Suppose these terms are present, then the answer would be infinity. If these terms are not present, then coefficient of x square is going to be my answer. So I am not going to take any term beyond x cube, because what happens, x cube and x square cancels, one x will remain, and that x will tend to zero, and all the other terms will become zero. So I need to only take up to x square, and coefficient of x square is going to be my answer. if constant term and x term gets cancelled. So e raised to x expansion, e raised to x is 1 plus x upon 1 factorial, x square upon 2 factorial plus x cube upon 3 factorial, goes on that. Log of 1 plus x will be, uh, first will be log 1 plus x will be x upon uh, 1 minus x square upon 2 plus x cube upon 3 and goes on like that. Then this is a binomial expansion. 1 minus x raised to minus 2, 1 
plus n, n is minus 2, n into, I'll write the expansion first, 1 plus n into x plus n into n minus 1 upon 2 factorial into x square, n into n minus 1, n minus 2 upon 3 factorial into x cube, goes on like that. So I'm going to replace n by minus 2 and x by minus x. So 1 uh, minus will be there, n will be minus 2. So it become 1 plus 2 x. That is n became minus, okay, n became minus 2 and x became minus x. n became minus 2 minus 3 upon 2 factorial into x became x square only. This became even if I don't write this term, no problem because x cube onwards is not required. So 1 plus 2x minus 3x square, minus or minus plus, plus 3x square. Now you can see the first two terms are added and third term is subtracted. So I can write now limit x tending to 0, e raised to x plus log 1 plus x or I will write it over here. So the first term you will have 1 plus x upon 1 factorial plus x square upon 2 factorial. Next term will be x by 1 minus x square by 2, another term is not required. Third term will be minus 1 plus 2x plus 3x square divided by x square. So 1 and minus 1 will get cancelled, 1 and minus 1 will get cancelled x plus x is 2x, that also will get cancelled. Now look at x square's coefficient, x square by 2 and x square by 2 also will get cancelled. So you are left now with minus 3x square upon x square. So minus 3x square upon x square will give you minus 3 as answer. The remaining terms all will be 0, so the limit of this function will be minus 3. We need to write denominator is x cube, so we need to write only till x cube, x raised to 4 onwards, all the expansions and so will be not there. And the constant term, x term, and x square term should get cancelled, and coefficient of x cube should be your answer. So I will write now this way limit x tending to 0, 1 plus sin x expansion start with x minus x cube by 3 factorial, and that's enough. Plus x raised to 5, we don't need. Cos x starts with 1 minus x square upon 2 factorial. Now x raised to 4, we don't require it. Then log will start with uh, uh, log x will be minus x, minus x square by 2 plus x cube by 3 and goes on. Because it is minus, all terms will be negative. Divided by x cube. Now up to x, x square and terms should get cancelled. Let's check whether I getting cancelled. 1 and minus 1 will get cancelled, x and minus x will get cancelled, plus x square by 2 and minus x square by 2 will get cancelled. So now x cube is going to be, x cube's coefficient is going to be my answer because x cube is there in the denominator. So the x cube's coefficients are minus 1 by 6, 3 factorial is 6, no x cube here. Here there is a minus 1 by 3 into x cube plus all other terms higher than x cube. So when you separate it, only this will be your answer minus 1 by 6 minus 1 by 3, 6 LCM. So minus 1 minus 2, so half minus half is your final answer. You can calculate this x raised to 4 etc. will tend to 0. So we have not written and no need to write that.